Hello, good morning. Take us through what has happened to you post the life-changing victory. Um, well, first I just had to realise what had happened and kind of accustom myself to it. And after that kind of happened, I went back home and slept for a long time. <laughs> and then um, I recorded an album, which is fantastic. And I can't wait to hear the masters and things. And that comes out in April. And then I just got back from the winery tour. So it's been crazy and really fun. All right. Have you fitted school in here at any point or not? Yeah, yeah. Lots of algebra. And so how do you do that? What, what, what's a schedule, a typical week schedule? Like, is, are you going to school this week? Uh, yeah, when I get back, I'll be going to school, um, just like normal. And when I was on tour, I just had to do maths in the car, basically. Seriously? What year are you in? Uh, I'm year 12, sixth form. So they're starting to get ser- serious. Can, yeah, are you going to be able to do it? Yeah, yeah, I think I will. I, school's important to me, so yeah. And so what? how many hours a day? So you practice, you play, you write, you study. <laughs> That's your life. Yeah. Yeah. Has it changed dramatically since you won? Um, it's still pretty cool being able to go back to school and just have everything. It's a bit, it's grounding, you know. Um, and yeah, in terms of me being able to perform my music to more people and and do it in a professional way, it's definitely changed a lot. And it's really exciting because every time I write a song now, I think, oh, that might be good on an album, which is really cool. What did you learn? Had you been in a studio before? No, no, I hadn't. It was my okay. So that was brand new. What did you learn in there? What were they teaching you? Um, just not just to have fun while doing it, I think was a good thing. And also, um, just to take your time and not rush into anything and make sure you were warmed up and relaxed. And I did wear my onesie quite a lot in the You're studio. You're joking. No, I did. What colour is it? It's like pink and snowflakey. It's amazing. Is it soft, super soft, yeah, yeah. velour type fabric? But because I'm really short, it's way too long for me. So I have to like roll the legs up. So I look like That's a the problem snowman. with the onesie, isn't it? You yeah. can't get them to fit. <laughs> Do you have more than one? No, I just have one. It's onesie. the onesie. The onesie, yeah. Wow. And when it wears out, as it inevitably will, will that be an emotional thing for you? Yeah, I think it's going to be. I might even write a song about it, you know. Where do you start writing songs, by the way? What's the inspiration? Well, well, you just write about anything, or? Um. Yeah, I'll generally just be playing around on my guitar, and then I'll just start singing something out and hope that I've pushed record on something so I don't forget it. Um, and what, what, how did the people in the studio react? Because, because it must be a bit nerve-wracking, mustn't it, to bring a whole, you know, here are my songs, what do you think of them? Yeah, yeah, it is. And it's definitely after you've recorded them and you're starting to hear, um, you know, the mixes and stuff of them, you start to feel like you don't want to let them go. But there comes a point where you have to just go, nope. This is as good as it's going to get because it's never perfect. Yeah. You're never going to be happy with it, you know. That's you re- oh, really? You're one of those people? Yeah. Well, I think that's with every musician. It's it's never going to be perfect, perfect. But that gets the point where you have to be like, no, yeah, this is this is good. Did they mess with them much? Did they say if we do a bit of this or tweak that, it will change this that you know might sound a bit better, or did they just let it? It, it was what it was. Um. Yeah. No. We we worked really well together. I think everyone had really good ideas, and um, they listened to what I had to say. And there was one moment. Um, I remember where I just had this idea for a guitar riff, and I just said it out loud, and now it's on the record. So that was cool. <laughs> Wonderful. Are your friends treating you differently? Um. No. No. Not at all. My really close friends were just the same. We just eat and talk about life. Because you've been you've been singing for ages anyway, so yeah. you, you're just the same person. And, and and the tour, what's it like doing it in front of so many people? Oh, really cool. It was really good to be able to actually perform live to so many people because I really like live performance. That's my favourite part of music. And, how how um, were the other artists, by the way? They take you under the wing oh, and look after so you. Cool. And... Yeah, they were all really, really great. And the first night was a little bit starstruck, kind of eyes wide walking around. But um, no, they were all really down to earth and really cool people and I learned a lot. That's what I've learned about the music industry, by and large. Artists look after each other. They're friendly people. That's why you get all those collaborations and everything. Everyone works on everybody else's album because they all seem genuinely to get on together and want to support each other. Yeah, yeah, it's great. They are, they were really, really cool. It was a really, really amazing experience. Are you going to do this forever? This is your life, do you think? Yeah, I think I think I could do this. It's fun. <laughs> it's good. I really like music and um, the, the way that it can get messages across um, in a much more subtle way. And, yeah, it's fun. All right, Clara, what are you going to play for us? I'm going to play one of my favourite ones off the album called Quiet Hours, and it's actually my mum's favourite, so, yeah. You've got a beautiful heart You've got a beautiful soul 
but you falling apart inside of it all but I'm willing to hold out a hand darling please will you try to understand I'm not going at you this time cuz I can't no I can't and in the quiet hours of the morning when the stars forget to shine I'll be there beside you in the whispers just to tell you that you're mine Just give me some time You've got a beautiful chance You've got a beautiful hope And in the rain we will dance You've just got to find the will to cope But I'm willing to hold out a hand, darling Please will you try to understand I'm not going at you this time Cause I can't no, I can't And in the quiet hours of the morning When the stars forget to shine I'll be there beside you in the whispers Just to tell you that you're mine Just give me some time Just give me some time Just give me some time Just give me some time